Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 10, Lesson 4. Let's start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can divide a whole number by a unit fraction using a visual fraction model. The learning objective says divide a whole number by a unit fraction to find the number of equal sized parts using a visual model. Now the prior learning is students represented fractions as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations. And students solved word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. All right, so let's go ahead and move into lesson four on page 253. We start off with a word problem that says a nature preserve is five miles wide. A ranger divides the entire preserve into one third mile wide sections for different tours. How many sections does the nature preserve have for different tours? Okay, so I have five miles of ground and I want to chunk them into one third sections and it's asking how many sections will there be? How many different tours will this ranger be able to provide? We want to show this visually. So I want to go ahead and make five. And I'm going to make five holes, all right? And I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it all the way across, so I'm going to do three and then two. So here are going to be my holes. I'm going to have one, two, and three. And then down here, I'm going to have four and five. So one two, three, these are representing my five miles. And I want to start off with different holes to show. Now it's saying that these parts, they're chunked into one third miles long. So if I have one mile and I'm chunking it to one third, I would have one third, two thirds, and then three thirds to be equal to my whole. So I want to chunk each section into three parts. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and touch it and then break it into a third, showing that this would be one third, this would be two thirds, and then this would be three thirds. And remember, any number over itself, no matter what number it is, is equal to one whole, because you are choosing everything that's available, so that's equaling one whole. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that for the rest of these. So I'm gonna do a third here, and then thirds here, thirds here and thirds here. So now each mile is sectioned out into a third mile portions. And it's asking how many sections are there? Well, we can skip count by three or know that if each, each section has three and I have five of them, three times five is 15. So I know that there are going to be 15 sections or 15 different tours that this ranger is going to be able to choose from. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. I have a build your understanding problem. This is number one. The nature preserve has a three mile long trail for bird watchers. The ranger divides the trail into half mile sections and names each section after a different bird. How many of these sections does the trail have? Okay, so remember this is building upon what we just did. It's the exact same problem, the numbers are just different. So instead of five miles, now we have three miles, and instead of one third sections, now we have half mile sections. All right, so for A, all you're doing is filling in the blank. So the trail is how many miles long? tells you in the problem. And it's divided into what fraction of a mile section? Also in the problem. So this can be modeled by the expression, you wanna write out what the division problem is. Remember, whatever you started with is your division problem. All right, now B, here's a number line. So you can number this number line anything you want. Because it has a zero and then a dash doesn't mean it needs to be zero to one. If you were dealing with a problem all the way up to 50, that dash could be worth 50. Now it would be really small, but what's the biggest number we're dealing with in this problem? That, wants to, that needs to be your last tick mark. Okay, and then you can work with sectioning them out from there. And then you have three bullet points using 
um, be your number line as an example. What's the dividend? What's the divisor? And what's the quotient? Remember, those three things are going to be really important with this. And then for the final question, what division equation can you write? Remember, this is actually the exact same thing as your division problem up in A, that last fill in the blank. It's going to be the same division problem. But now we want to find out what the answer is and then interpret what the answer means back to our word problem. All right, go ahead and work your hardest on these couple of questions and then we'll come back and solve them together. All right, go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great work, you guys. Let's go ahead and go through this. So for number one, I'm gonna read the problem just one more time. It says the nature preserve has a three mile long trail for bird watchers. So jumping into A, the trail is three miles long and it's divided into, well, it says the ranger divides the trail into half mile sections. So right there, I'm gonna say half. And it, then it says, names each section, section after a different bird. That part doesn't really matter for our problem, but that's nice to know. And this is how many of these sections does the trail have? So remember, we're looking for a whole number of sections. All right now, how are we gonna be writing this expression? We're not solving it yet, we're just writing the division problem. So what did we start with? That's our first number. We started with three miles and we divided it into half section segments. So it's gonna be three divided by half. All right, now for B, this is where I really wanna slow it down and make sure we're really covering this number line. It just says represent the situation on number line, right? There's not much to go on here. However, I know that I have zero to something. The biggest number I have, I have three miles, right? So zero to three, my end tick mark on that very right side is gonna be a three. So then what I need to do is I need to make sections off for one and two. So remember I want third section. So for a one, a two, and a three being my end number. So let's go ahead and put it right here for one and right here for two. So now I have one, two, and three. Just so it doesn't get too messy and so you can see very clearly, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in a different color for my half segments. So from zero to one, I want a half. From one to two, I want a half. And now is this just gonna be half or is it more than one? Well, it's in between one and two, so it's gonna be one and a half. So you would write that as a mixed number, one and a half, then I hit two. Then I have from two to three, again, make that half mark. And now it's gonna be two and a half. Now this is representing my problem, right? Now it's sectioned into one half segments. It's the same thing as doing it with our fraction bars or the circles, now we're just showing it on a number line. All right, so it says, how is the dividend represented on the number line? So remember the dividend is the total. So from my zero to my three, right? The whole number line is my dividend. So I'm just gonna put the zero to three showing my miles. That's my dividend, is the whole thing, zero to three. Then how is the divisor represented on the number line? Remember the divisor is what I'm cutting it up by, so that's the half. So I said um, each whole section or each whole number is cut into a half, or you can just say the half markings, right? I'm just gonna put half marks or half ticks, whichever wording you like best. Then how is the quotient? Remember, that's the answer. So with that, that's the total amount of sections. So this is total sections. And then for C, what division equation can you write? That's the same thing as up above, remember? So three divided by a half is equal to what? Well, how many sections did I have? If I go to half, that'd be one. One is two, so I'm going one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna have six sections. Now interpret your answer in this situation. So what does my six represent? Remember, it's, the question was how many of these sections 
does the trail have? So I have six sections in the trail. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up all the rest of your problems. And I will see you back here for module 10, lesson five.